starting on CT, in honor on T, both teams with four wins, one loss. So the heavyweights of CGA right now. In honor in first position, Redux in second. And uh, this will be a match to remember, I think. Knife round being played out in mid as per usual. And oh, looks like the CTs are actually gonna win this one. Looking really hypey there. Last two players for CT. And it looks like Redux is gonna stay on CT. So a similar a similar strategy as we saw from Black Lines and Aquius. And uh, we will be moving into the pistol round now. Going live. DE Cobble, Redux vs In Honor. First pistol round coming up. I'm back. Just in time, mate. The round's just started, and it looks like the CTs are heading towards B. The same strategy we saw from that last game, stacking B for the first round, expecting that push. But T's instead working A bombsite, and CT's realizing this immediately, rotating three players off back towards A. The smoke going down, stopping the T's push through A bomb. It seems to be a common thing lately, you know, like we saw that in the Elam game, you know, the guys would push towards B. Found about 10 seconds and then fall straight back to A and, you know, stack A heavy. Louis actually pushed up into B apps, getting a pick onto Joel, but Blizzy is waiting for him there and does get the trade frag, so Tease could go anywhere from this point. There's no one on B at the moment and Tease do have mid control at the moment. So Tease are pushing though. Els does take down Enforcer and Specker with a great headshot onto Els to trade it. 3v3 right now. Hyphy has been back. On to B bomb site, spots him coming out, lands the headshot, but Blizzy and Dread with the trade there. And 2v2 as bomb goes down on B. Sapkin and Specker trying to retake now. Water wow with a great headshot onto Specker as he comes out of double doors there. And now Dread Sabjin all alone up against two T's, looking for the head of one. Does find Dread. Can he get the second? Water wow getting tagged. Sabjin on 89, jumping out from Platt, lands the headshot, and we'll get the defuse. A great clutch that coming in from CT's. That was very good clutch, but again, in honor making the fatal mistake and giving that round to Sabjin on a platter there. I mean, Sabjin can aim, and these guys just, you know, going for the 1v1 duels. Just, we see that time and time again where teams just leave players in a 1v2, and they'll peak the last guy alive one by one. Oh you know, you, you can't afford to do that, even on an eco or, or on a buy round. It's Sorry, just guys. A... CSGO has just crashed. I will be back momentarily. This game, man. <laughs> Why? But the <laughs> lately since the update, it's been happening to a few people. So yeah, that's not cool. please bear with us. We we have got two pushing out long aggressively here from CTs, just looking for these players on this eco. And I mean, T's are pushing up heavy mid. One's closed doors. You got bomb taking an engagement on doors there, but loot, bomb dropping towards door side. So my apologies, I guys. I'm um, just joining now. I don't think CTs know it's there, and I mean now it's left in a two v two. So both sides have guns, one's got Famous P90, the other's got UMP MP7, so... Oh, that slow play! Hypey oh, picking up Dread from mid there, and Els, the last player alive. Forte side with the bomb, he could work his way onto B now. Just not realising it, Els is just... He thinks there's a CT nearby, he, he can hear the guy outside, but... He's assuming there's a player already on B. Oh, look at Hearing this. the Hypey's, rotate come Hypey's out. Hypey's actually pushed past the bomb planner. Yeah. And Else is playing this very sneakily at the moment, getting the kill onto Enforcer and getting the plant on A. Hypey's going to have to push this if he wants to stop the plant, but instead, he seems to take it slowly up on balcony. And the 1v1 right now. Els and Hypey's both hey. on 100, and they have spotted each other, taking each other down Els very low. Els with a superior gun there, though, with the range. I mean, the MP7 does do damage, but basically throwing pebbles at your enemy from that distance. Yeah, Els actually had MP7. no armor. <laughs> yeah, so again, you know, that just proving the fact of how weak the gun really is at that, that short of a range. I mean, that gun, you sort of basically want it to be effective. You have to sort of put it through your enemy's stomach and, and spam 10 rounds. <laughs> 
it's you know it is good it is a good eco gun if you have people around to support you but so you know I'm not able to eco redux there and now it's redux for onto an eco I'm choosing not to buy anything here I think pg 50s and 57s on all CTs but no armor Flashes coming into mid spec out getting smoke out there force the ball back CTs do take mid control Louis just spotting over wall there. Should hit the mid and does. He's gonna have a peek there. He does find the head of Water Wow, but L's taking down Specker in that smoke. And a 4v4 situation right now. Louis lucky CT. to escape that. <laughs> I was gonna say, the CT to test the patience of Inano here. They're just giving them bits of shoulder here and there, just, you know, trying to make him play that shot and, and go for that full spray and then, you know, try and go for that cheeky re peek and, and tap him, but. Looks like the bomb may be headed back towards B though. Blizzy taking down Hyphy as he jumps through that window. And, uh, flashing drop down. But perhaps a double fake <laughs> as the bomb is headed back towards A now. Two CTs both on either side. Louis playing that back side position on A. Should see action from B side here as they push in through mid. Blizzy smoking off double doors and he's uh, going to his plan. Louis going down. L's checking the corners. Good play there. That was a very nice round coming out from Inono, you know, the fact that they played it patient, they just held it off, you know, they fought, but they basically forced the CTs to make the mistakes, which, you know, and it showed they lost one player due to him being a little over peaky and then getting caught out, mm. and, you know, just capitalizing on the fact that the CTs are somewhat, although it is an early stage in the game, they, they, they look to be a little pressured there to, you know, to try and win that eco, so... Oh, good double nade down mid, catching Louis off guard, going down immediately. And another good nade coming in onto Hypey and Enforcer. Joel will finish off Enforcer, and CT is going down left, right, and center at the moment. Sajin, the only player on 100 HP. Hypey with a great 1v onto Joel. Sajin has pushed through smoke and found Blizzy, and he could get an easy break here. Does take him down and picks up an AK. 3v2 right now, but Hypey on 10. And bomb headed towards A. CT's gonna have the work cut out for them. CT should elect to save here. I mean, they've got two super powerful weapons. You know, it's early stages, and if they do, if they do decide to save, I mean, it's two guns that they can drop to teammates who can then, you know, build up an economy. Because at this stage, the economy I think is gonna be a very, very vital thing in in this match. Yeah, it looks like they are gonna save here. Hypey up yeah. in that tower. And uh, Savjin just lurking near the mid connector. Waiting for T's to come through. But I don't think they're going to find anything. I mean, Hypey could pick up one here if they do exit out mid, but he's not even looking that way. Just trying to hold on to the AK. And in on a pick up a third round. Redux should be on a buy this round as well, so we should see something interesting coming in. Redux will be looking to win this round and hold down these bomb sites. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where um, In Honor decides to go now. I mean, as I said, it's it's at this point it looks like it is coming somewhat down to aim purely because In Honor are just being pushed and and pressured by the CTs, which is a bit of a strange sort of, like turn of events. But as I say that you have two In Honor members going trying to go fast flat, but just the smoke's cutting them off there. Joel trying to pick that player behind Fountain, taking I think down to 89, not a lot of damage. A good volley coming in from CTs. Joel standing right in it, and a nade to follow up. Does land the headshot as he pushes out, but Enforcer trades him. And, uh, that could have gone the T's way, just a little unfortunate. Great shot nonetheless from Joel there, managing to, you know, do some damage just before he died, so... Yeah, you know, definitely. that Molly and Nade leaving him on 19 HP, they're peeking out and picking up the headshot into high fee on, on B. So forcing that alone in itself is a big, somewhat of a big thing for, for the T's because of the fact that you're forcing the CTs to, split, to play a split game and, you know, you need a minimum of three on B to hold a, a solid push, even if it is three people, you know, three on three. Looks like the T's are going to go for a four-man drop down. Smoke off window. Savage ready for them though, catches the head of L's as he falls. Red taking down Savgen and Enforcer. Getting a frag onto Waterwow. Blizzy now from platform. The frag's going left, right, and center. Trading. 
as Specker picks up one. Dread picking up Specker, now 1v1. Louis taking down Dread, and a little bit of a uh, tip for tap battle going on there. That is some of the nicest team play CS I've seen in a long time. Wow. That was non stop trading. That and was that is that is how basic CS should be played right there. It, it, I mean, if people want to learn basic CS, just watch that round over for 30 rounds straight. And you'll see basic CS. You know, it's tit for tat, trade for trade, and purely based on aim, you know, and, and the better person coming out on top. Yeah, Danny Danny mate, you're gonna get your skin. Sorry we couldn't trade it to you in time, but we do have your trade link and we are gonna give it to you when Morph, we when he we won have the, the he won the reactor. It's the Glock 18 reactor, I think. So I'm not too sure if he traded it. Yes, it was the Glock. Re yeah, it was the Glock. Yep. So we'll get Morph to trade that to you ASAP. I'll actually post your trade link back in chat. Looks like T's are gonna be pushing up A long here, leaving the bomb in mid. So possibly looking for a pick, and then choosing to play a site after that. L's looking for that opening pick, but no CTs to be found. Specker actually up in a cheeky position there. We could catch them off guard. If they do make some noise here. L's smoking off mid and pushing into tables. Becca up from that spot does find him as he pushes into Staples, but drop down mid completely blind. Louis saving his teammate from certain death there. Blizzy picking out mid and finding two. Lua and Specky both down now on A. And 3v3 the smokes and flashes coming in as the T's will get the plant here. CT's desperately trying to rotate, but not really having much of a chance here. Joel shooting Haki as he tries to come through then. Dread with that AWP picking in Forza from Balcony. And now all up to Savjun again. Left alone in a 1v3. Bomb planted and ticking away. He is going to peek out of hut here, but I think he should go down very easily. Savjit actually landed those shots through the, through the wood. Wow. Right, he does go down. Blizzy finishing off the round for In Honor. And Redux 2 in Honor 4. In Honor looking very strong with this T side. Able to push into sight and take it over completely and then. Hold the bomb in the after plant. Yeah, it's interesting now. <clears throat> I mean, based on the fact they've actually pulled out the AWP, so it'll it'll be interesting to see where this AWP can actually make some make you know kills happen. Setes are on an echo now, and either Honor should pick up this round. We did see in on a eco redux, so there's no reason to think it can't happen again. Dread though. With a great pick onto Specker as he pushed through A1. Louis in mid finds the head of water. Wow, a good flick shot. Going for that AK, but uh, it spread down a little bit. Ah, oh, can't make it out of there alive. And the nade following up to finish him up. <laughs> if he wasn't dead already. Yeah, oh, Joel funny. with an excellent kill onto Hypey and Platt. And it's CT side. That desperation set in for when it's CT. is just trying to push for a gun. They sort of get... They get antsy and want to get that gun as, as soon as they can, but as I say that, Sabjin just on the back rage here, you know, pushing, I think he might push behind, no, actually no, he'll decide to wait in the mid connector. Smart play, I mean, he'll likely try and s save this weapon, actually. Yeah, CT's yeah. money's pretty low, they can buy next, a half buy, but yeah. um, that AK is definitely going to help. 20 seconds remaining and Sabjin... Not sure what he's going to do here. He might get caught off guard as uh, Blizzy comes around the corner here. Oh, does get a lovely headshot. And uh, trying to fall back now. Does he want more mid and going for more exit? Picks up the head of in uh, Els. And another T chasing him from behind. It's Sachin. Also the the clutch out. there. Wow. Wow. They didn't even put bomb down. The bomb got stuck apparently. I did not see where yeah. it was It was stuck, stuck on the but, barrel uh, in T-spawn. It dropped behind the barrel, so if you if you fly over to T-spawn where the B sign is, there's a little barrel, bomb actually got stuck behind there. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, you know, I'm lucky to win that. I mean, Sabjin... If Sabjin decided to save there, they could, he could have won that round purely based on time. Yeah, very unfortunate. CTs are on a double eco here. Sabjin opting for armor. Going aggressive on B plat. But the T's too smart for that, and they actually pop flash, 
should pick up a kill here. Yes, Hypey is pushed up too far. Is he taking down the in there? Impossible with a good headshot onto Els, and the aim battle's going on at B at the moment. T's deciding to rotate off there. CT's with two on B at the moment, and Specker on A. In a cheeky position with the CZ, could pick up a couple here. Does find the head of Waterwow. Going for a second on the Joel, forced to reload. Oh, bullets only. Just can't finish it off. Joel down to 18 HP, and the bomb being planted on A now. Enforcer picks up an AK and decides to save. Very, very interesting rounds coming out. I mean, with the fact that you look at what damage they're doing to in honor on an, on an eco round, you know? Yeah, these Just rounds are. Strange. These rounds are so mm -hmm. close. I mean, yeah, it really could go either way right now. And I think Redux is just getting a little unlucky, not being able yeah, to that... pick up the double kills. And you know, they could win the round if they did that. But yeah, T's just escaping at the moment. It does. It does feel like Redux are ecoing like indefinitely. It's quite, it's you know, it's a very strange sensation. Like every time we seem to see them do damage, and we expect them to be on, you know, on a full buy. They're actually on an eco, and they and they're doing, you know, tons of damage. You know, baiting nades, just forcing in honor to, you know, keep their economy somewhat on the lower end of where it should, where it could actually be. But you know, and then on the buy rounds, just not being able to make it work as as they would on a on an eco. Let's hope they can change that with this buy round. We got on a full buy now. Enforcer getting boosted up onto tree. That's a great spot to hold B from. And T's once again playing very, very slowly. Joel getting smoked up there. As the rest of his team makes their way into mid water wow. Point man at the moment. Looking for that open frag. One thing I do like the in honor of doing is they just, you know, they're playing this default, doing what, what most teams, you know, need to sort of do a lot of, and that's just play a default, take map control, push the CTs back. Don't give them the ability to, you know, stack heavy towards a site. But, you know, and they're not favoring B very often. I mean, when they do, when they do favor B, they, you know, they do tend to go pretty quick. But at this point, it does look that they are taking the slow approach. Sort of just waiting for those mistakes from the CTs and just, you know, taking their heads off. The smokes and nades coming in now as Blizzy smokes off hut and flashes in sight now. Hypey on Fountain, Joel to challenge. A little bit of damage. What about taking down Savage and Hypey though, turning around and taking down Els, and a great orb shot coming in from Dread there. And a second, Joel taking down Hypey on sight, and Dread with a third, catching the rotator at Rock. And in honor, running over that bomb site, some great angels. And uh, able to come out on top. CTs again, just getting overrun. And I think they're going to half by here. The Pumasas are out. Specker with the CZ. He does choose armor. And nades over a weapon though, and Louis with that 5-7. Yeah, fair call from Specker there, you know, he, he, with, those, uh, with those nades, you know, he's got the armor with the nades. All he has to do is pick up one kill and he's got a gun. You know, he can use the nades to do some damage, you know, slow them down, force them, but as we said, uh, Louis getting pop flashed and getting picked up. Yeah, good play there, Waterwow playing that anti-flash as his teammate popped. And able to pick up a free kill dread with this AWP in mid again, looking for the side hall player. Not gonna find it though. As Joel and Water wait, make their way up into mid. And it does look like it could be an A-take here. CT's with only one on site and one on the rotate. Savjin playing the event does spot Joel. But uh, he has revealed his position and Joel should take him down here as he jumps out from Valkyrie Stecker. With that CZ on site again, taking down Waterwow. Oh, oh, Joel with a great return drag there, straight to the head of Specker. And now it's just Hyphy with the FAMAS on B. Oh, and played. this is looking very bad for Redux at the moment. In honor, about to pick up this round, and Redux only on two in the first half. Just unable to catch any momentum. And you're right, it does seem like they're ecoing indefinitely. We're about yeah. to see another eco come in. <laughs> and just, they, they, they're not able to build that economy, they're not giving it a chance to build up, I mean, they've lost that many rounds, you'd think Blue Shell would sort of help, but, you know, it just doesn't, or, or Loser's Bonus just doesn't seem to be helping that much. 
I think Hyphy's about to get pushed here. All the T's are exiting in his direction. Hyphy might pick up one here, does find Blizzy, but Dread with the AWP picks him up. And unable to save that FAMAS. So hopefully Blue Shell will, you know, the full effect of Blue Shell should be felt by the guys now and there. Might be able to make some for these last few rounds, you know, after an eco. But, yeah, I mean, at this, at this stage it's looking very grim for Redux, but... I wouldn't count them out just yet for the fact that they are very sharp aimers, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes when they do switch over to T side and have the ability to use the AKs themselves. Because at this right, point, yeah. in honor of just, you know, Joel especially, Joel and Els are just aiming like crazy at this, at this one, you know. <laughs> Anyone that peeks them loses their head. Yeah, it is a very T heavy map as well. But, I mean, with that said, we haven't seen In Honor make those silly plays that seem to work for T's on this back. They've just played it yeah. patiently, and that's what's paying off for them. So, a little bit of a contrast to what we saw in last map with Black Lines, that aggressive push working for them, and then once they went passive, just dropping rounds. So, yeah, interesting uh, to see the different playstyles these teams have. Oh, and Forza, getting that headshot onto Blizzy! I don't think Blizzy expected that at all. <laughs> the double dink coming in to take him down. Specker getting pushed from both sides there. Oh, he gets the trade, but L's turning around and getting the trade himself at 3v2 right now. Enforcer with the AK and the bomb being planted on A. And I think Enforcer is going to be running to save as Savjin goes for exits. Perhaps even saving that armor there. Probably would be a smarter call. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, why not save? I mean, when you can save money, yeah. especially with the economy so low, just save, save, save. That's the thing. All you, you, either, either way they look at this right now, if you know Sabjin would have to be extremely sharp to you know one to do some work with a five seven and a bit of body armor. You know, one tap from an AK and you got three of them looking at you. Does a lot of damage. So you know, take take the loss of the round. You know, as you were going to anyway. But come out better off on the other side a little bit. And this is the round that could decide the first half scoreline. Redux only on two. Only winning the first and fifth round. And the T's just steamrolling them after that. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's pretty even at the moment because you've got three, oh, four, no. you know. Full cleanups and then three bomb explosions as, as rounds. Savjin getting caught off guard as the T's drop down, but Hypey able to pick up the two frags and bring it back to a 3v3. Very, very lucky that Hypey caught them on the rotate there, otherwise T side could have had complete control of B. That said though, what a way out is. Working his way up mid, does find Louis, the offer, and going for a second here. Specker drops down. The Nate to follow up there should do a little bit of damage. Specker down to 48. And the rest of his team working into A now. Hyphy on the rotate at double doors here. Finds L's as he crosses from Sables. That's a good kill. Bring it back to a 2v2. Hyphy dropping down. It's Waterwell. Works his way around truck. Hyphy picking up an easy kill there. Waterwell should have hurt him. And Dread, the last player for T side with that AWP. In a 1v2. Gets one frag onto Hyphy. Goes for the second here. Specker backside. Oh no, he's going to get picked if he. Specker! Oh, picking up the frag! What a nice play from Specker there, you know, realizing that Dread is actually focusing on the lower part of sight to, you know, waiting for Specker to... Because I've always seen Specker, when he's playing A-side, he's in the corner, in that little corner, be it with a CZ or a weapon, so... That's true, Again, yeah. you know, good position change up and good use of height advantage there with the fact that... Dread would have had to make a very, very powerful flick shot to let to kill Specker there. I'm not going to lie, I wanted to see it, but, uh... Same. I also wanted to see the flick. Specker just, uh, outplaying Dread there towards the end. And Redux picked up a round they really, really needed at this point. Louis, caught out in mid with the AWP, does land a headshot onto Waterwow. Goes for a second, can't land it though, Savjin picking up Lizzie and drop down. And L's taking down Louis on site. I think this is a 3v4. CT's in a good position right now. Specker on site, just can't get the frag. As Hyphy takes down Joel and pushes into sight, trying to stop that plant. Bomb does go down, Hyphy does take him out though. And CT's good retake here, Dread the last player alive once again. As the CT's go for this defuse, smoke going down, Dread. Trying to land the shot through, 
smoke, that nade doing a lot of damage in the flash. The follow up dread just can't do it. And Hyphy will take him out eventually. CT's just steamrolling that site on the retake. I was actually worried for a second there. I thought I thought the CTs were actually gonna peek him one by one and sort of I would have face palmed had they done that. I mean that was their round to win, so well deserved and I mean, you know, great great sort of recovery of almost a misplay. Sajin again getting caught out on drop down, but this time coming out on top, getting the double spray down as they push through fire. He's going super aggressive onto B and paying wow. the price. Sajin does go down to Hyphy's volley. But uh, only one T left right now. That was a very fast round. Lizzie up on flat, popping a nade to the face as he takes out Enforcer. But the bomb dropped on B. And three CTs left. He will go down. Redux finding some momentum now and stopping in on it on that aggressive push. That's gonna that's gonna put some wind in their sails, and they're gonna be able to take yeah. that uh, that confidence into this next round. I think. Definitely. I mean, look at look at what the economy is like on for an honor as well. I mean, you got to play it with a deagle, but then again, I wouldn't count these in honor guys out with a deagle in their hands. I mean, they do some, they can do some magnificent work with it. You know, they 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 know how to play positions well and, and use pistols to their advantage. So let's hope Redux can you know just continue the form that they've now found and carry this over into the you know the halftime changeover and and use it on the T side because. It is great to see. I mean, it's now a five nine half, so soon it could be a six nine a six nine changeover. We in a prime position to pick up these T's as they peek here. Should find Jolin does as he peeks out, and uh, going for a second T's. Don't want to cross though. Louis peeking out again. Finds water well in mid, and this T side falls apart a little bit as they push out. Though Louis is caught out of position. Specker going down to Dread as well. These have taken this side hole. But not made it into sight yet. Mikey pushing in, finds the bomb planter, else. Oh, Blizzy with a great one tap onto Sabjin and did there. And it is a 2v2 right now. Hyphy oh, taking down Blizzy and the last T alive. Dread only on 14. Is this clutchable for Dread? We saw him do some great shots with the AWP. But uh, I don't think he's going to be able to do this now. Enforcer peeking in from mid, finding the headshot. And Redux with the comeback in that first half. Down. They only had two rounds and winning the last four there, so yeah, very great impressive. effort. I mean, very very good comeback from Redux. There. Although they're not in the lead, still going through this into this changeover now that you know they're going to have that mentality of we can do this, guys. Let's just you know win this pistol and and we've got them on the back foot. So you know, in honor in honor, I don't think they'll be too too badly affected by it. You know, I mean, they, they would have realized you know there's mistakes that was being made, which was costing them rounds and. and It'll be interesting to see how they recover going into this, though. A little bit of a different strategy. We've seen teams do a five-man uh, B push, but instead, Redux choosing to go for a uh, a long push, and it's working out for them. They've got the first pick onto Elves, that Tech Nine, throwing him down at close range. And CT's on a hard rotate now. Smoke's in sight, and the gun battles are on. Enforcer taking down Waterwell. Hyphy from mid finding the head of Joel as he comes through Ben, and uh, Enforcer should pick up a kill here onto Dread. Take him down on balcony. Last CT alive. Blizzy, all alone with a 5.7 and some armor. Is he going to choose to save here? The T's just peppering the shots of the Tech 9. Three doors, window everywhere. And uh, Louis eventually taking him down with the USP. A good round from Redux and something a little different that we haven't seen. A bit, bit of a weird round coming out. I mean, it, it is a good thing to see, though, you know, that, that aggressive push onto A site. Especially in the early round when you know, you know, majority of teams do push four heavy to B at the beginning of every round. So, you know, a great great change of pace there for from Redux and you know, paying paying off for them. And you know, just to touch on Blizzy there, I mean, like on him just missing those shots onto Hyphy who was actually on seven HP, so it did look like he was struggling a bit. I don't know if it was a bit of lag or, or something, but yeah, it did did look like he was missing a fair bit. He's now slowing it down completely. They do not want to get ecoed here. That would be a disaster for them. And uh, CT's as well playing this one very slow. Four stack on B at the moment. Uh, with that player playing double drop down. Neither team willing to peek at the moment. They're, they're just waiting for <laughs> someone to make a mistake. <laughs> yep. They're just waiting for this push from, from either team, which is... 
I should just see where Louis smoke goes. A flashes wow, and the push weird. is in onto B. And uh, the T's opening up the frag. Hyper and Spec attacking down two. Joel takes out Enforcer, but Louis and Hyphy taking down two of their own. And now it's just L's up in drop down, and he will go down to Specker in honor of taking the round out there. I'm sorry, Redux. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting, say, getting a little confused what? there. I said that and I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. I was quite <laughs> shocked for a second there. <laughs> but... I mean, it's it's only an eco round though, but... Uh, that execute, um... That was well played. Yeah. By Redux. They, they uh, set it up properly and got the frags and that's exactly what they needed. CT though, are pushing very aggressively up mid. Savjin, finding two heads there. What a wound. Lizzy going down. And CT's it chooses to push all the way through T-Spawn. Joel with a great headshot onto Hyphy. And P250 at range. Very effective. Savjin with a third headshot. That UMP again. Such a strong gun. <laughs> it's, it's proving its worth lately. You know I mean? We've seen it used on Inferno heavily and it doing massive work. Savjin just, you know, raking in the cash right now from that, that, that rush that they gave him. So... Yeah, the T's economy booming at the moment, but they are going to upgrade here, it is going to cost them. CT's will be full bought up as well. A bit of a poor buy coming in actually on CT side. Only a couple of flashes yeah. and, you know, a smoke Minimal and decoy, I mean, could be trouble. And also the, um, you know, having to choose no head armor, I mean, although the other team have managed to have kept Galil's as well, so... It, it's sort of that buy from the CTs is going to be working and enforce it in Savage's favor of you know recycling those Galils. Definitely, yeah. Be, I'm interested to see where Louis is actually going to play this orb. Is if he's looks like he's going to be playing the standard sort of long position, you know, waiting for that chicken chicken coop peak. So, flashes and smokes coming in now. Waterwell -water is blind at tree. I want a Molly coming in to push him up, but it actually gets. Uh... Abused by the smoke there, Blizzy picking up two as they come in and drop down Waterwell in that three position. Taking down one Savjin does finish him off though, and it is a 3v2. Blizzy sneaking up through this smoke, finding Savjin. And should pick up a second here, but no, Enforcer turns around in that Galil, finding the head, finding the head of Els as well. And he's brought it back to a 1v1 right now. Looking for information on Joel, he does expect him to be on site, but Joel is actually double doors. Enforcer is going to walk right into him. Joel playing that one perfectly, that patience paying off. And winning the Again, round for that, an honor. That comment I made with the fact that, you know, the buy from the CTs was gonna work in, in Redux's favour. It actually turned out to be true with the fact that Galil's managed just to pick up the heads. You know, yeah. It's you know, the the only time you sort of play a buy like that is when you know you know the, the team have got full AKs. Being that, regardless of head armor or not, it's a one-tap headshot. The Galil, if you had head armor, it was, you know, it is a two-hit two headshot. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Hyphy catching a little bit of a bink there. He does drop down, but Blizzy is there to help his teammate out. What about down to 36? Make that 33. The nade's raining in, but not doing a lot of damage to him. I can just survive that. And the T's that look to be changing up their tactics now, heading towards mid. One thing you could notice within Honor is the fact that they don't make use of that triple hoop at the back on B. They don't seem to like using that very much. I mean, it is a it is a bit of a weird position to play in, in the sense that, you know, that sort of thing happens where it gets mollied, naded, pre-fired a fair bit. Oh, Dread. Swapping around with Specker, you would have heard this. Push coming onto A right now though. Dread finding Specker with that MP7. Blizzy picking up Louie. And it's 2v2 right now. Blizzy is low. Both teams with those AKs. You know, finish off this round. Dread gets spotted out from doors, but lands a hit onto Enforcer. Down to one. And Nade will finish him off. Flash is coming in now. CDs go for this push. Enforcer trapped <laughs> behind stables. Doesn't want to peek. I'll see Dredd though and catches him off guard as Sajin takes down Blizzy. Dredd actually looked away for a second there and the Enforcer pounced on him, landing that headshot. And he's winning the round now. A 10 for 10 scoreline at the moment. Redux bringing it back, which is nice to see. I mean, 
be interesting to see what, you know, once the, the Seekings have a full buy to see if they're able to shut this down because losing this round obviously is is not good, but you know, once once a full buy comes out again, losing that will basically seal the fate of the, the match, really. You know, unless again someone goes huge and proves me wrong. Right. Oh, what a well. <laughs> Taking down two there. On an eco, just doing work. Picking up two guns, and no one there to protect the weapons, either. Yeah, that's a costly mistake for T-Side there. And it looks like Hypey is in a prime position to catch these rotators. I don't think I'll check there. He does peek out, though. What are we now aware of his position, and Lizzie picking up the exchange frag. But T's have pushed onto A. Joel with no weapon, 100 HP. Don't get that USB headshot. Does a little bit of damage, that nade coming out, taking down 87. As Blizzy works his way around from green truck. Safjin on site. I think Blizzy is aware of his position. And they're going for a bit of a pincer move here, but where is Specker? That is the question. He's he's behind them somehow. Specker! <laughs> Joel oh, getting the me. frag with the USP! What? Wow! Great work. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm eating my words, guys. I don't know how I don't know how the CTs fuck that. I really don't. Spec up. Nowhere to be seen until the end and then dying to that USP. I mean what happened? It's, yeah, I'm, uh, I got no words. I mean just purely coming down to aim, like we predicted in the beginning there, you know. This map this match will be coming down to a lot of angels and that proving one of them right there. You know, they're picking up that, that crucial, crucial eco. I mean, that was a full eco as well. No armor and a USP to work with. Yeah, CT should so. not have won that. Redux will be kicking themselves after that, I think. That'll, that will be playing heavily on the mind of the in-game leader with the fact that... Oh! As we say that, Enforcer Wild Flash. Enforcer pick, picking up one. And uh, the frag's coming thick and fast now as the CT's rotate. Water wow. Picking up two, make that three. Satchin going down as well. And now Specker left all by himself with that Tech-9. No armor. Looking to do some serious economical damage here. Should find Dread as he comes around the corner here. If he does not check this spot, but... Oh, he actually gets pushed by Waterwow. Waterwow picking up four in that round. And uh, lifting himself up off the bottom of the scoreboard there. Waterwow might not be fragging the highest, but he's definitely got the most assists in this game. So, he's uh, he's doing some, doing some work for CT side. T's and CT's both on a full buy this round. Sorry, their game is crashed on me again. Tries to work his way up on plat. Dread with that orb shot just misses. L's taking down Enforcer. Dread re peeking that line and finding Hypey as he comes around the corner. Not aware there is another T there though. It doesn't matter though, his split game is too strong right now. Taking down Savjan. And Louie. Alone. His whole team dead immediately. Down to a minute. And the whole team dead. I mean. CTs have really picked up their game here, in honor, just... Yeah. Oh, the no they're not missing their shot. shots. Wow. Wow. What a shot from Dread. That, that was a nice 3k there. Yeah, again, it looks to be somewhat of a desperation now. I mean, it looks like Redux have run out of ideas, you know. They're pushing B. It, while, while Dread was doing work, you had Specker peek out B into two guys line of sight. You know, I, I don't understand the, the logic in behind peeking by yourself knowing, full well knowing there's going to be players watching you, you know, rather, rather sort of play the, um, play the, you know, great game. What are we on that drop down position, finding two as they try to push in the sights, back up, I'll take out Joel, and I can't even switch the players fast enough before they all die, my god, what's happening? See, he's just wrecking the, <laughs> the T side, I was literally switching and they were dying instantly. <laughs> I alt tab then to actually reply to someone in chat asking about the Black Lion score, Tab back in and the game was over. round was over. Yes, a very, <laughs> very quick round coming in there. So... But, what uh, was T side. Score? Sorry for that, for that game. Oh, you're asking me, mate, and I've got a terrible memory. It was, uh, 16, <laughs> 16, 13 or something like that? Yeah, so somewhere around there. I have you taken down Joel in mid there. Elves with the trade and Enforcer with a good spray down. Bruce Smoke on Waterwow. Giving the T's the man advantage. For now. They are gonna push through that smoke, though. Blizzard. 
Wow, catches an unlucky dink there as the T's run into sight and he now he's trapped behind Bounty. He does take down Enforcer though, doing his job well, picking up a second onto Specker as he drops. And Blizzy and Dre uh, Dread joining in from Double Doors as Blizzy jumps around Fountain, looking for a third, won't get it though. And Louis going for this plant, the T's need this money and he will get it. Trying to pop flash over Fountain but only flashing himself as Els comes around the side there. And takes him out in honor, running away with the game at the moment and on the on the final Bombs round as well. Yeah. On match point, I mean, again, that should have been the team round, but just simple mistakes coming out there, you know, not being able to get the trade frags and sort of peeking when you knew there was a, they, they knew the awful was there. I mean, they've seen the damage he's done in, in the past few rounds, so I don't understand the sort of, you know, the need to, to peek him or, or get caught. You know, throw, throw a couple of pop flashes here and then, or drop a smoke to try and evade him. CP's on a full bite once again. P's are on a full bite as well. So it's not over yet, guys. T's are heavily split up across the map, though. This could be a mistake. Also playing up aggressively on B, all alone. Louis, near drop down, trying to nade that player out. Does look like Dread has gone down to 22. Not sure what that damage was from. Perhaps a nade? Um, no, he did get shot from top of mid, actually. He was peeking and tried to get the flick shot, but just wasn't quick enough to get out of the way. Okay. And the T-push does look like it's going to come in here at B. The bomb is creeping up, and Enforcer looks to try and open up the fragging dread on 22. Does get the pick onto Enforcer, and the T's are in trouble now. The CT's putting down a molly as they try to push in. Satchin and Hypey, though, from drop down. And he kills. And dread. So deadly at the moment. Finding another kill. T's do have just, control of B bomb site. Just doing a lot of work, Dredd, and I mean, he's sort of, and his team's able to back it up, you know, with, a, with, with three takes. I mean, look, look at, at that. this retake, though. Joel so oh, strong pushing Joel. into sight, and, and that will GG. be game. In honor, too be... strong at the moment. So, effectively, that's take, that'll take In honor out of group. So, In honor will be in contention for the finals for CGA, so, you know, well played. I mean,. Well played Redux. by both teams. I mean, that could have gone either yeah. way. But, some um, some very weird mistakes coming out from Redux that, you know, just not being able to capitalize in, you know, advantageous scenarios and, you know, <laughs> in honor just their aim. Again, as I stated before the game went, went, you know, went live and commenced was this will be an aim battle and it did eventually towards the last, you know, five or six rounds became very heavy aim intensive. Yeah, that's right. 